students have phobia of square root signs and decimal points and in these types of questions that i am going to show you in a bit uh, they find both so let's see how to solve them now in these types of questions just look at the whole number without considering square root sign or decimal point and square root of 169 is 13 because 13 times 13 is 169 or 13 squared is 169 so here after that the second step is look at the decimal point and count from the right so one digit and two digits so after two digits we have decimal point so half of two is one so here after one digit there will be the decimal point and 1.3 is our answer for this and exactly same thing we will do 169 square root of 169 is 13 and the next step is we count the digits before the decimal point from the right 1 2 3 and 4 then we have decimal point so half of 4 is 2 so here it will be after two places from the right so 1 and 2 we have point here so our answer is 0 0.13 here and in the last question we have 169 again so we write 13 here and here count the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we have decimal point so half of 6 is 3 but we have only two digits here so one digit and two digit no problem just put the zero and we have the third digit also and we have point here so the answer is 0 0.013 here